welcome back to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today I am going to attempt to use some of these ever increasing backgrounds. But I am going to show you ways to disguise backgrounds. Like this one here. Oh, this would be a good one to work with. This is one I made with the stamp and block and there's two joined together and you can see the line in the middle. It's also made in Halloween colours with a Halloween stencil. Okay, so we're going to try and disguise it. What else will we use? What else could we use? Maybe that one. It doesn't really float my boat. So maybe that one. Maybe one of these big ones. Oh, that one. We'll use this one. As you can see, this is a slimline stencil with Nouveau shimmer powders over the top, sprayed with water, and you can see the middle of it is totally merged, which is just not the plan you're going for. So, let's try those three. Right, I'm going to pop off, get together what I need, and come back and show you what I'm doing and stick around to the end and I'll show you other ideas of ones that I've already created because I've been doing this for a few days now and as you can tell I'm still background heavy but back in a gif okay so we're back for our first card I have cut a piece of red foil card my card base is eight and a quarter by eight scored at four. My red bit is three and three quarters by eight. And then my pattern bit is a big hair, one of my hairs. Our pattern bit and you can see I cut out what I needed from the foil card so our red bit is 8 by 3 and 3 quarters so our pattern bit is 7 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half got there in the end and as you can tell it's not very well disguised so I took this slimline die that I got from AliExpress and I cut it to the same size as my patterned bit and as you can see now it's perfectly disguised but if you hold this up to the light you can still see the shimmer in behind it which is why I used the foil card. Now I have cut this out twice to give it a bit of stability and glued it together because I had to cut the edges off to make it fit to the size I needed so you need to put glue wherever you can after that and I am just taking my time and putting it all along whatever edge bits are left and then I'm going up these lines like this just to ensure that our pattern sticks where we want it okay 
do a couple there just at the edges and then stick it down and as I said it'll be seven and three quarters by three and a half. I'm going to turn it over and give it a good firm press. Okay. Now, I took a die cut, a simple, cut it out of red, cut it out of white twice, and I'm just gluing it on to my background. This is probably an AliExpress die. And just stick it there. Okay. I've done the same. I've cut my word beautiful out in the red foil card and in white twice I've cut the background in white and glued them all together stay up and now I'm just going to, because that B is going over there, like that. I'm putting a little bit of foam tape on. That is just going to sit there like that. And... I have done the same for the word you and I'm going to put beautiful you and I have no idea where this word die came from I have an A4 magnetic sheet back to back and both sides are filled with word dies and then I have about three more sets so, and I will finish it off with some gems, but I will do that and you'll see that in the pictures. So that's number one. Number two was this bit, which I used a die on. I bought this from a Crafting with Gertie seal. And I've cut it out twice to stabilize it. I have a piece of card that is four by five and five, and then that one be three and three quarters by five and three. And I'm just gluing it on top. Once again, I've had to trim the sides, so I'm just being careful where I put my glue. There's a bit on there, no, am I? So, just dabbing little bits anywhere I've got a little bit of room. David's back with the dog, and he's raking the house. Okay, that should do that. That's going on a piece of red cardstock. Like that, we need card bases. Oops, too far over. Right. 
give a good firm press. I'm putting it on my card base like this. My card base is 11 and a half by 4 and 1 eighth. Scored at five and three quarters to make a top folding note card. UK A6. Okay, then I have three little balloons. Thank you, darling. Yes, that will do the best. My tablets. Put them in the bed for me, please. Thank you. And I have... Hooray! Pop Fizz Clink Cheers! And that is what I am putting on my card. So... To finish it. I, I had this, I have a box full of sentiments that are already stamped. I just went hooking for it. Goodness knows how long it's been in there, but it works today. Too much glue. Too much glue. Right. And we're just going to put it here. Okay. Then I'm going to put some on this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom. I'm going to do the same on the other two stick. Okay. Yes, please. Lunch. I don't need any oranges. My lovely hobby is bringing my lunch up. He's a good critter. He's actually he's a great critter. Except when he's driving. Then he's road rage extraordinaire. So I'm just putting three balloons on. Because this is like streamers and party and hooray, pop fizz, clink, cheers. I just want to make sure my bottom bit is stickied. Two. I don't want that hanging off anywhere. Oops, that one was already stuck down, I think. There. And that's card number two in Disguising Your Backgrounds. Okay, and the third one is going to be this one. And what I decided was that I also had a piece of vellum in here that is embossed. And it is just ever so slightly smaller than that there. Okay. And I want to put that on top. So I have taken an old tonic die set. This one here. And I have cut it out in white. And I'm going to glue that on there. Like that. And I'm going to glue it on flat because I am going to pop a 
I'm going to pop up some other bits on this card. So I am. There we go. Right, now let's get this right the first time. I want it over to the left as far as possible. Okay, like that. And then we're going to use that. You can see through that. And we're going to use that as an area to stick our vellum onto our background. Okay. Like that. Perfectly perfect. Right, and then just it's ever so slightly smaller. So you can just see a oh, boulder dash. You can just see in behind it. Okay, so we are going to put this onto our purple card. Our purple card will be 4 by 5 and 5, and our patterned piece will be 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 eighths. Okay, right, card base. That is then going on to our card base, which is once again 11 and a half by 4 and 1 eighth, scored at 5 and 3 quarters to make an UK A6 top folding tent card. Okay, right. So in that die you get the, the other two butterflies and I have cut them out with the purple card and I've actually done it with white on the back as well because I want to curl it, I want to give it a little bit of dimension, I want it to sit on there like that. Okay, and this one is just going to sit flat on there. And I have once again cut it out twice. Okay. Right. Just give that a little minute to go off. And then I have cut the word hugs. And I can't decide where to put it. I wanted it there. And I think I am going to go with there and just do this, but try not to cover up too much of my flutter by or butterfly. We call it a flutter by because that's all the young could say when she was young. 
flower by. So it's a bit higher. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Will this work? Is that too high? Nope, it's going to do. We're going to go with it. Have it done now. We'll just put one in there as well while we're at it. We're all glued up. Don't want to be able to see that bit at the bottom. So there. We're going on there. And I will put some gems on and you will see those in the photos. So thank you for stopping by for my how to use, how to disguise a background. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, leave a comment. Otherwise, YouTube will remove you after a while. That's happened to me four times now. So just thumbs up, leave a comment and hit the notification bell. I hope you're all safe and well. And until the next time, jack you out. I forgot to show you the ones I said I would. So this one here was a jelly plate background with metallic inks and it was black but it had one green stripe through it and it looked terrible so I added green ink all over it in the light places and then die cut it and added my balloons and my happy birthday. This is another one, this is pink and black at the back but I didn't like the pattern so I cut out a black background die um, twice, glued them together, stick them on, added a butterfly, a hello, some gems and Bob's your uncle. This was another one of those stamp and foam ones that met in the middle and I just embossed it and then I put I cut a couple of gold flowers or leaves accents and added some gold, the beautiful you, some gems and that's it. This here was a piece of patterned paper I had left over and didn't want to throw it away. So I cut it out and I added another one in the back to give it some depth off the card, added my heart, cut out three times my word. This was some of the strips videos, from my strips videos this was a bit that was left over and I cut it out and added matching gems. And this here was a uh, another metallic background and all I did was emboss it and added my dragonfly, a couple of butterflies, vellum overlays, gems and my word which I also cut out of a bit of this background. So hope you like them. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. Be safe, be well. Till next time, jack you out.